When Apple added plugins and effects to GarageBand here on the iPhone or the iPad, it was a bit of a game changer. And speaking of change, did you know that you can change the order of your effects here in GarageBand? You can do it, and in this video I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And now this is gonna be a very quick and simple tip because it's something very quick and simple to do. And I was actually reminded of this in a comment in my last video by uh, one of my viewers, the, the Dr. MFM, I think I got that name right. And they reminded me that in our plugins and EQ here, we actually have the ability to reorder our plugins. So if we come in here and we tap on plugins and EQ, at the moment we've got sort of everything in order there with our visual EQ at the bottom. If we tap on edit, however, we've got these three little lines on the right hand side and we can actually tap and drag any of our effects from one place to another. Now. There's a couple of schools of thought on this, and one which Apple obviously used because that's the way they set up GarageBand is that you have your compressor, then you have your effects, you have your reverb, your delay, and everything else, and then right at the end here, you have your visual EQ. So you're EQing at the end as your last move, and you can see here on this vocal track, I've got a little bit of a, a treble cut here uh, because it was a bit too sort of crispy, trebly sound at the end. But the other school of thought is that, and, and this is what the, the viewer mentioned, is that why wouldn't you put your EQ right at the top. Now you can't put it up the very top because the noise gate goes there because it's a gate and gates are supposed to be at the front of things, yeah? Um, but we can put it just behind the gate there and then what it's going to do is it's going to put our EQ as our first move, which means that the, and remember an EQ is just a volume control, yeah? So it's just a volume control for your bass, your mids, and your treble. So all I'm doing is turning down the volume of the treble and I'm doing that before I do my compression and my other effects here. So this is a different way to do it. So let's just have a quick listen here. What I'll do is I'll bring the EQ and put it back down the bottom here. Let's listen to this track in its original state with the EQ at the end, and then I'll switch it around and put it at the front. I cross the road and never even look one way. So that's what it sounds like with the EQ last. And if we bring that up here and put it before the compressor and all of our other effects, it sounds like this. I always seem to know the perfect thing to say. Now, are you going to be able to hear much difference? Probably not in this mix with, you know, it's a very small snippet and you're hearing it through YouTube compressed audio, but you get the point here is that we can actually experiment, we can move these around and you get a different sound depending on the order that you put it in because GarageBand is going to process these in order. It's going to go noise gate first, then visual EQ, then compressor, then effect EQ, then tape delay, etc. So it's just another way that we can actually create some more variety here. In our tracks in GarageBand, you can use it on any of your tracks you can change up the order of your effects, your plugins, your EQ here in GarageBand. I hope you found it useful and can use it on your next project. And there you go, you can mix and match your effects and your plugins to your heart's content. Put your compressor before your EQ, put your chorus before your reverb, experiment, get some cool sounds. Thanks again for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for sticking around. I've got a question for you. What effect do you use more than any others here in GarageBand? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon over in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.